Well, I've stood at this podium many times about this various bill. It was first filed in 2013, December 3rd, 2013. That's a long time ago. It was the, we were the first state to file this piece of legislation. And since then, 15 states have passed it. We have not, but hopefully we will. The issue is simple. Washington is broken, completely dysfunctional. You only have to look at this morning's news or yesterday's news or tomorrow's news to know that it's out of whack completely. Americans have now, look at any survey, have lost confidence in their government. That is not a good thing. It can be fixed, but only you have the power to fix it. I look at you and say, you are, and you'll think I'm overstating this, hyperbole, not. You are the most important elected officials in America. By the way, that's what our founders intended, federalism. <laughs> you know, federalism. The states are in control. The federal government was there to protect us from foreign powers and all of that. Well, in the last certainly 150 years, that's gotten completely out of whack. We now have a mega federal government, command and control, stepping over us, ignoring anything the states want. Uh, folks, we can cure this. It's the only cure that the founders gave us. They knew at the very last when they inserted this Article 5 in the Constitution, that cherished document, that we states need to be able to propose amendments to the Constitution. Didn't say we're going to rip the Constitution up. We're not going to have a runaway convention, or like the opponents say it, silly, their marketing thing is a con con. We're not going to have that. I said the jump bar for changing the Constitution by adding amendments to it is very high and very difficult. They couldn't even pass the ERA around the states and get it done. Come on. So what we have now is not the potential of deciding on a runaway convention of states. We have a runaway Congress. Think about that. They are, the CONCON con is under the dome of the U.S. Capitol right now. They propose somewhere between 75, 80 or more amendments to the Constitution every session. Fortunately, there isn't even enough wisdom up there. They can't get the needed votes to get those out to the states. But even if they did, and this convention of states, when it comes together with each state having one vote, the, the, the possibility of getting a, an amendment limiting the federal government is still very high. Three quarters of the states have to pass it. And not only that, both the House and the Senate in each of those. So it only takes one body in there not to, to stop it, okay? So nonsense is not going to happen. But we do need to take control, and you have the power to do that. Pass this bill today to full judiciary, and full judiciary then can look at this bill and hopefully get it to us on the House floor. We need, this is the only fix. Our founders are speaking to us from their graves. They left us a message in Article 5. Fix an overbloated, out-of-control federal government. Thanks for your consideration. I'm here live in Philadelphia at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. When you hear the phrase, lives, fortunes, and sacred honor, these are the folks we should think of, those who anonymously gave their lives. Well, today you have a chance to volunteer you need to volunteer for conventionofstates.com, the movement that's going to save the country. These folks are willing to step up and give everything. We need you to give just a little bit. Go to conventionofstates.com and volunteer today.